Hello, welcome to new 6th gen farmer. Now today's pretty exciting because uh, I am witnessing something that I have never seen before. So currently I am walking through our organic sweet corn field. And as you can see, part of it is gone. Actually, I just came home from college today and there's not much left, so I got here just in time. And uh, the pickers are on the other side here. They're currently stopped. I'll get the drone out here in a second. But if you guys remember my dirt bike video, I talked about how this corn was like kind of crappy, especially you know for sweet corn. The ears that these crappy little sweet corn plants produced is incredible. I mean, these things are just absolutely massive. My hand next to it. I took one out. Um, I don't know, probably a month ago just to see what it looked like. And it was like 43 kernels long, which for those of you guys who don't know, like mid thirties is probably average. So absolutely massive ears. Uh, uh, let me shuck this for you quick. All right, so I just shucked this one. I did a rough count here quick. This one's about 40 kernels long and 20 around. That is huge. Huge. This this corn looked so crappy for so long and then just produced these massive ears. What's also kind of interesting is how late they picked the sweet corn. So, you know, we were kind of out looking at it every once in a while and finally got to a point where we're like, okay, I think it's ready to pick. And we called them. They said, we usually pick it about two weeks, two to three weeks after a farmer thinks that it's ready. So kind of kind of bizarre to me. But looks like the pickers are running. Let me go grab my drone, get in the air so you guys can see what's going on. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time supposed to be out here while they're doing this but I'm gonna get to the other side so I can get some cool cool shots and pictures and stuff but uh, this is just this is so interesting to me because first of all I've never seen sweet corn be harvested but I want to show it to you guys because this could end up in your food like this is organic sweet corn that I am very likely guessing will be in some sort of food product. Also, there's two things I don't quite get. They only seem to be combining this direction. I'm guessing that's because 
Um, their unloading conveyor only swings out the one way. I'm, and then their tip basket must only swing out the one way too. Probably, actually, I don't know. I'm guessing the conveyor can probably go both ways, but the tip basket can only go one way to unload. So I'm guessing that's why they're combining coming towards me. What I don't understand is why they're only taking seven rows. Now it could be because this is the last part of the field that was planted. So they could be in some point rows right now, but they were both taking seven rows. Don't understand that part. Wonder where he's headed. Probably to meet the, the grain cart, but not a grain cart. More like a self-propelled cob wagon. Yeah, I like that, the self-propelled cob wagon. We might have to actually go ahead and pull out the old stock chopper on this one. Haven't ran one of those in 10 years. Things are kind of chonky. Also, I cleaned my pickup. Look at how nice it looks. There's a lot of honking going on over there. Must be like, must be the uh, self-propelled cob wagon's way of communicating with the trucks. All right, it's been like four minutes and there's they're still honking over there. And there goes the truck. Off to wherever they take it. Okay, so that is gonna end it for today's video, guys. The next video right after this will be us harvesting because that's actually where I'm gonna head right now. But I decided to keep these two videos separate thought this was cool especially for the fact that this is like food grade crop right like you guys could possibly be eating this so i think that's really cool haven't seen it before want to show it to you guys so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one